here's another tip that really brings back some commands that we could have done in previous version and it still works today. What I want to do is talk about the element selection function. Now we already know that if we take the tool, in this case, it's just going to be the simple uh, element selection arrow right in here. We already know that if we stretch a selection window just from holding the left mouse button and just select it this way, anything that's completely inside this window gets selected. And if you click anywhere in empty space, it's going to unselect it. And if you go from the lower right to the upper left, it's going to select anything it touches or anything inside. So that's a crossing or anything that's completely inside. And those are the two options. However, you notice how it highlights in pink. Well, let me show you something. If I come up here to Workspace and I go to Preferences, one of my options is right here called View Options. Take a look that I can change my selection set color right here. With a single click, I can enable it. Click on this color button, and I'm going to choose something like this, uh, a little bit more pinkish red color. I'm going to press OK. Let's go in OK. And notice now when I select it, notice how it's going to change my color. So it's a really simple way of being able to control that. Now, let me show you the power of the element selection tool. I'm going to be very carefully just tell MicroStation, I want to set, uh, select everything that's completely inside here, right up to this red line. And notice I'm leaving part, a portion of this red line just outside the window. So now it's going to highlight all this. And if this line gets selected accidentally, you see it? Well, you can hold the control button down and click it. And it's going to unselect it for you. So you notice how you can begin to unselect the objects whenever you want. Now, with this in mind, I've just selected these objects here. I want to add this to a special group. And watch what I'm going to do. I can very quickly just right click here. Notice that it's going to allow me to see I can do things like copy, move, scale, rotate. So I can apply anything I want to this particular selected object. So if I select copy, notice that I can basically tell MicroStation copy from here and move my mouse and you can see how the copy command is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and press the right mouse button because I don't want to copy. Notice it's still selected. What I'm going to do is hold the shift key down and right click. And notice I've got something here called a quick set save. Now watch what happens when we select number one. We're basically telling MicroStation that I want to assign everything I selected to a number, number one, as a fast way, temporary way, to assign a name to this group of objects. Now click empty space for a moment and let's come over here. I'm going to move my mouse something like this. Again, I'm just going to do a complete window so anything inside of it is what I want. I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to hold the shift key, right click, and now say quick set save two. So just like that, I saved one and I saved two. Now press the uh, left mouse button empty space to unselect it. What's the whole purpose here? Watch. With a single shift, hold on the shift key and the right mouse button, I can say quick set recall. If I select one, notice how it knows to select what's on the left side. Or if I hold the shift key, right click, and I say recall number two, I can let go of my button or my keyboard, press number two, it knows to jump over to the left side. So you're starting to see that there's some power to the name. So you are temporarily assigning number one and two to these group of objects. Again, why is this important? Well, let's focus on this side. Let's say that you're working on this side of your house or in this project, and now that's all you want to see on your screen. By selecting it, I can shift, hold it down, right click, and I can come up to display set, and I say set, and notice that MicroStation turned off everything except for the objects I selected. I can click an empty space to unselect them, and now when I do a fit command right in here, notice how it ignores my entire drawing and only lets me look at the objects that are displayable. The key thing is, these objects might be found in multiple levels, so it doesn't matter what level it's on. You want to restore it? you got two options. Easy options so come right here in the View Attributes window. Click this drop-down arrow, and all we can do, uh, if you want to do it simply, is toggle off the display set. And notice how the entire drawing will come back. Now, that simply allows me, then, if I fit my drawing, to come back up here and tell MicroStation any time I want to activate the display set. If you want to remove the entire display set, hold the shift key down, right click, and now go to display set clear. And now MicroStation doesn't even remember that it exists. But you can always select and override it and choose something else anytime you want.